So I saw some tweets on my feed about how amazing Cloudflare pages are. And I thought maybe people don't know about Cloudflare pages. So yeah, here's a video about Cloudflare pages. So if you don't know what Cloudflare pages are, it's a fast, secure, and free way to host your websites or particular Jamstack sites. And it's by the company Cloudflare. And I have been hosting a few of the projects that you use on Cloudflare pages. So today, I'm going to show you how easy it is to have your website that's built in, you know, Next, Astro, React, or any other cool frameworks using Cloudflare pages basically for free and get some features like CICD, SSL, and preview builds, and also free web analytics. So if you're new to the channel, hi, I'm Rishabh. This is Rishabh in Cloud, and today we'll be looking at Cloudflare pages. So just to start, here is pages.cloudflare.com. And as you can see, Cloudflare pages is a Jamstack platform for front-end developers to collaborate and deploy websites, right? And you can already see you have integration with Git and GitLab, which means it is very easy to set up CI CD. And I'll show you with one of the projects that I've been working. And it tells you about, you know, building a site is a team sport. So you have previews, you have unlimited seats for free, right? Which means additional collaborators shouldn't break the bank. With pages, you can add them all for free. You also have built-in free web analytics which we'll dive in deeper, but you're using Cloudflare's Edge, you know, which is milliseconds from end users. So you are up to 115% faster than competing platforms, which Cloudflare claims. It's incredibly scalable. It's always secure. So SSL works out of the box, right? And stay ahead of the curve. So it supports the latest web standards, which HTTP 3, image compression out of the box and more. So, you know, it's amazing, right? I have been using it on the free tier. So one build at a time, 500 builds per month, which I, I don't even know how many builds I do per month. But I have at least four projects that are using Cloudflare pages. But you have unlimited sites, unlimited static requests, and unlimited bandwidth, which I care about. And then you can look at pro and business if you're really interested in. But let me show you the project that I have. So I've been working on this Astro portfolio template. I started this a while ago, but I haven't completed it. Um, but I finally uploaded it to Git. So I have it saved somewhere uh, centrally and the good features of version control system. Um, if you haven't, uh, my current portfolio, you can either go to reshop.cloud or reshopkumar.com. They both basically are the same site. It's built with Hugo. I love it. You know, uh, it's bare minimum. It has my blog, which is integrated with Hashnode. But the Astro template that I'm using, uh, I'll link this in the description, of course, if someone is interested in building their template in Astro. The reason why I'm using Astro is I wanted to explore it. So I mentioned one of the goals for 2023 and four was Next.js. And Astro has also seemed to be, you know, the one that's picking some traction within the community. So I wanted to test it out. And this is the basic site here. So some info about me. I have my links and then posts and projects. I am into stoicism. So I have a stoic code for you and then get in touch. So pretty simple. This is the project itself. Uh, it's the it's almost same as the template. I've just you know added some content of mine and also made some changes to Tailwind uh, to better match my color scheme. But apart from that, not a lot of changes. And if we go to my Cloudflare account, you can see that if you use Seven Days of Python. It is being hosted on Cloudflare pages. If you use the Cloud Resume API challenge, it is on Cloudflare pages. Even the DevOps guide is now hosted on Cloudflare pages just because I like the platform and how fast it is. And it's free. So if you go to Cloud Resume API.dev, this is the site that I'm talking about. You know, it's a beginner friendly cloud challenge that you can take. It's only available in AWS as of yet, but I'm planning to expand it to Azure and GCP. 
But that said, this is built with Material for MK Docs team. So it's basically documentation kind of framework, um, but Cloudflare supports it. So I was able to deploy this and have CI, CD, SSL, all those good features. So let's go ahead and do that for our reshub-cloud-astro project that I was building. So if we go into the workers and pages on the left-hand side, and I can zoom in a little bit, in your Cloudflare account, if you go to workers and pages, click on overview, and then click on create application. Well, by default, it will take you to the workers tab. You have to click on pages to deploy, you know, a website. So if I click on connect to Git, you can choose GitHub or GitLab depending on what you use. In my case, I use GitHub and then I know my repository is called reshub-cloud-astro. So I'm gonna click that, begin setup. And then you can see it already detected the production branch, which is main. And then you have a lot of framework presets. So you can see all of the presets that are available with Cloudflare pages. So I won't go into all of them, but I'll go pick Astro. So I'll have a build command and also the output directory based on the framework default settings. And then you also have the ability to set root directory if you have a mono repo with you know a backend and also environment variables if you know you have to set up secrets. I don't have any secrets, so I'll click on save and deploy. So now you can see that it's building the Astro app and will deploy it to Cloudflare's global network. And you can see that all happening live in action here. Well, what's cool is it has CI CD built in. So anytime I push any changes from my local to Git, it will do another build with those latest changes and deploy the latest version to Cloudflare's network again. So that's awesome. And you can see our upload has been completed. Your site was deployed. So let's go ahead and visit this URL. So it'll take some time for DNS to propagate. So we'll wait for that to happen. But if I go to GitHub and open my repo, we'll see the CI CD stuff happening. So reshub cloud astro. So you can see that I have two actions now. One of them was just a CI check, right? So it just does a check on the code, but I have another action now, which is Cloud, Cloudflare pages, and it deployed successfully. You can click on details and you can see that the deployment was successful and it also has a preview URL. So every time you make a commit, you'll have a different preview URL. And this comes in handy if you have different branches like staging that you wanna push out changes to before you push anything to production. So if I click on that, now it loads. So if we refresh the main one, it'll load. So my portfolio has been deployed to Cloudflare pages within what, seconds or minutes. And it also has you know preview capabilities. But you can see that it has SSL, installed it is on a very fast network of cloudflare but you also have the ability to add custom domains so if i click on continue to project right you can go under custom domains and you can set up a custom domain so in my case i already have reshub.cloud pointed to my previous portfolio that i showed you right this one so once i have completed my astro project i'll start pointing it to this particular project in Cloudflare. The other cool thing is analytics. So uh, most of people used Google Analytics and I did too, but I've been loving Cloudflare web analytics because they are so easy to set up. So if you go to, you know, um, the DevOps guide, let's go to DevOps guide. You can see that, so since it's on Cloudflare, it was just one button install for analytics. And you can see I have, for the last 24 hours, I have these countries that people are using the DevOps guide from. I have 15 direct few YouTube references or referrers, Google, my own personal website. 
So it's very similar to Google Analytics. You get all the necessary information, but also like core web vitals, which I think is handy. And yeah, you can also do custom range. So for the last 30 days, there have been 590 visits, which is awesome. And I have it enabled for most of my projects that live on Cloudflare pages because it's so easy to set up. But yeah, that was basically Cloudflare pages in a nutshell. I hope you liked the video and go ahead and use it for your own projects. You know, I think it's very handy that it's free. It has, you know, security features. It has CI CD available and like the sites are pretty fast all over the globe. So it, you know, the CDN or the edge network that Cloudflare has is pretty good. But yeah, I hope you found the video helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.